people. This is Eric with Deseret Outdoors. Coming to you again. Sorry it's been a while. Um, we just did another overnight testing these bags. Uh, this is the guide gear 10 degree bag. This is a snug pack 11 degree bag. Um, we had these bags our first test down to 35 degrees. We, both me and my son, we both stayed warm, no problems. Uh, the snug pack is comfort rated for 20 degrees, extreme is 11 degrees. And uh, I'll have Nick put the sizes up um, so you can, you'll know what the sizes are. This is a great, great bag. It's one of the best bags I've ever had and used. Uh, the quality of it is phenomenal. It's got a rip stop outer lining. The inner lining is very, very nice. Um, this is made in China. Uh, we got this off the guide gear. I think it was uh, $61 plus shipping and handling. And this guide gear bag was I believe 40 plus shipping and handling. This is 100% polyester. Uh, light, uh, outer shell and uh, the filling. Um, it's a really comfortable bag. As you can tell, I'm a pretty big guy. I, uh, that's real comfortable for me. Um, I haven't tried this one yet, but Nick has, and he, he loves this bag. Um, and, you know, for under 100 bucks, either one of these bags is uh, going to be a really good deal. Uh, the baffling in this one is phenomenal as well. Uh, this is the Sleeper Extreme. Olive right side zip. And uh, this is just a really a phenomenal bag. I'll have Nick bring the camera around, get close up of the inside and the outside of the bag. Uh, he'll give you the dimensions of the bags. They both come with stuff sacks uh, and they're compression sacks. And uh, for the price, you can't beat either one of them. So uh, I let Nick walk around get some close-ups of these bags. have cinch hoods. Uh, this one just has the baffle where the zip is. Um, but I didn't have any problems with it. And I stayed warm. As a matter of fact, I got a little hot the first time we tried them. So, uh, I, I highly re recommend both of these bags. And on the Sleeper Extreme, you can cinch this baffle up around your chest. And then you got the head cinch. And it's a really well thought out and designed bag. Now we're up in the same area the, as the first test. We're at about a 6,000 foot elevation. And uh, last night, 
I would have to say it got down to about 45 degrees. And no problems at all. Uh, so the next time we'll test it is uh, this coming winter. Thank you for watching. Subscribe if you like what you see. Thank you. Hi YouTube, this is Nick with Desert Rat Outdoors. I'm going to do a review on this chair we thought would be good for camping, but it is not. It, um, got it on Amazon. Travel Chair is the company. The original since 1984. Got it on Amazon for $13, $15. Thought it would be good. It's not. It's made in China. It's rated for 250 pounds. My dad sat in it for one hour and it is broken. We'll get a close up in a minute. The uh, It folds up pretty nice. Thing is, this is the strap to hold it together. It's wonky. It doesn't work. But it sits me just fine. My dad will come up here and get a close up of why it broke. Here's the other side. The other side's starting to break as well. Pretty much, don't buy a travel chair. Bye YouTube.